So I'm sure by now everyone's already seen the new uh, Poltergeist trailer. I know um, last Friday everyone was just going nuts over it and I just kept seeing uh, numerous websites in which people were just posting things so I just wanted to quickly just share my thoughts on that. Um, nothing too big. Um, I honestly liked the teaser trailer a lot more than the a full trailer. For the most part, it pretty much just feels like the same movie. Um, I can definitely see that they've modernized and updated that, and um, those are definitely great touches. Um, this one definitely, in some scenes, feels a lot darker. I can definitely see the uh, potential for um, a lot of tension uh, being used in the film, so I have no doubt that the tension will be used well, um, especially the fact that um, you do have some of the original Evil Dead producers, which are behind this, of course, Robert Tappert and um, Sam Raimi. And we also have Roy Lee coming on as one of the producers, which, to my knowledge, he's mostly known as just uh, producing remakes of well-known Asian films, for example, uh, The Grudge, The Ring, things like that. Um, so basically, um, just kind of looking through his filmography, if it's anything that's an American remake of an Asian film, he's probably behind it. Um, but they've all done very good work. I'm not downing anyone. Um, you know, they definitely have a strong background behind all of them. And um, the productions that they have put forth have been very great films. So um, I'm not naysaying uh, the Poltergeist remake. I'm, I'm definitely curious to see what it turns out to be. But a lot of the, uh, the trailer, it just seems to me to have a bit of Carrie-itis. It just feels like they were practically just telling you um, the entire film just in the trailer. Uh, same with the way the Carrie remake kind of did, but... Um, I don't know, for some reason I, I'm just so so used to the original that um, even the, the priest that we see in the trailer, I look at him and I can't help but think the little lady and... Um, I don't know, it just makes me really want to see the original. Um, but yeah, I have no doubt it'll be a great film. Um, like I said, I definitely see a lot of potential for uh, the story to become a lot darker, a lot more tense. Um, my only complaint is the clown. Um, I don't have anything against clowns, they honestly don't bother me, but um, I just wish he could have been creepier, the the clown that they used in the uh, in this film. Um, from the original, that that clown definitely looked a lot more menacing to me, so I don't know, maybe they're just going to up the ante somewhere else. I, I really don't know, but um, I'm kind of hoping that they do recreate a few of the iconic scenes. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just, um, just kind of wanted to throw my two cents out there. Um, and um, as far as the film itself, I do think it's kind of interesting the way it's been, the way it's been backed up. Um, I believe it was uh, August 6th of 2014. Uh, the film was supposed to have an original release date uh, sometime in February. Um, February 13th, uh, Poltergeist was originally going to be released. And it's been pushed over for a summer release of July 24th of 2015, I believe. That's just kind of my curiosity here, is um, wondering how it will do against the uh, other summer blockbuster films. Um, but that is pretty much it. I will talk to you guys later.